Hi friends, I'm Rachna and today's class is about corporate jargons. Now what are jargons? A jargon is a word or an expression used by professionals and well more often than not we don't understand what they mean when they use these jargons. Well, so IT people have their own jargons, people who are marketeers have marketing jargons and when they use it with their co-workers, they understand exactly what they mean but maybe you and I won't, okay. So today we're going to look at common jargons that we use in our day-to-day -day work life. <music> page doesn't mean that you're literally on the same page but it means to have the same amount of understanding or to agree with someone Okay, now supposing I am proposing an idea in, an, in a meeting and uh, I suggest something and I look at a colleague of mine and say, are you on the same page? Okay, that means I'm asking him if he agrees with me or does he feel the same or does he have, you know, are we like-minded on this point? So when you ask someone, are you on the same page? You're actually asking if they agree with you or if they have the same understanding as you do. Now supposing a mother is telling her child something and he really does not follow it, she tells him, we are not on the same page. Now listen carefully to what I am telling you. That means she is asking him to understand or to agree with her. Okay. So remember to be on the same page means to have the same amount of understanding or to agree with someone okay the next jargon is ballpark figure and now a ballpark figure is a tentative number or say an approximate number or a figure This is very commonly used by sales professionals, accountants, and basically all the people who deal with numbers all the time, okay? Now, supposing I order um, five coffee vending machines for my office, and I ask him to give me a discount. So I really need to know how much am I going to pay him? So I tell him, after discount, how much do I need to pay you, okay? What's my bill amount? And he tells me, uh, ma'am, I've not calculated the exact amount after discount, but well, the ballpark figure is say $500, okay? That means he's giving me an approximate number, okay? So many times you hear uh, sales, uh, you know, the sales head or the departmental head asking his team, so how much have you achieved this month? Have you all achieved your targets? So people uh, generally have not calculated the exact figure, but they do give him a ballpark figure. That means, uh, you know, just a tentative or an approximate number. So it is not the exact number or the figure, but somewhere close to that number of figure. So a ballpark figure means an approximate number or figure. Okay. The next jargon is bandwidth. Oh, uh, this is not the one that we talk about when we um, express the rate of uh, data transfer. When we use it in our work life, you know, on day to day basis, we use it to say the willingness to do something or the physical or the mental stamina or the ability to do something.
well, now supposing I have a lot of projects in my hand and my boss gives me one more, okay, an additional one. Well, I tell him, sir, honestly, I do not have the bandwidth to take on a new project. That means I mentally or physically just cannot take on a new project, okay? Or sometimes you have a manager allocating uh, or allotting work to his junior, tells him, do you have the bandwidth to complete this by tomorrow evening? That means he's asking his subordinate if he has the ability, if, if it, you know, the physical or the mental ability of completing the work by tomorrow evening. Okay, so the jargon used is, do you have the bandwidth to complete this by tomorrow evening? Right, so remember it means the physical or the mental ability of working. Okay, the next one is circle back. Well, very simple, circle back means talk later. Now, suppose I am extremely busy and I get a call, uh, you know, probably uh, making plans for the Christmas party at, in the office. So I say, I'm busy right now. Could we circle back later on? Okay, that means could I talk later? So I'm really busy right now. I can't speak on this right now. Could I circle back or could we circle back later? So that means could we discuss this later? So when you want to talk about something later, you could always use the expression circle back. Okay, friends? Well, and the next one is FaceTime. Well, FaceTime, simple, in-person meeting. That means a face-to-face -face meeting. Okay. So I could say that John has requested for some FaceTime with the CEO of the company next week. That means he has requested for some time to meet in person. To meet whom? The CEO of the company. Okay. Well, I wish you and I could have some FaceTime. You know, learning English would be a lot more fun. Fine. So FaceTime means in person meeting, a face to face exchange. Well, the next one is leverage. This is the most common jargon used in our corporate lives. It means to take maximum benefit or advantage of something. Okay. So, well, Every organization needs to leverage its key resources. That means every organization needs to take maximum benefit or advantage of its key resources, right, to be successful. Well, sometimes we are in a situation where uh, we leverage on, that means we take maximum benefit or advantage. So you see the situation is going to work in your favor and you act accordingly. That means you are leveraging on the situation. So when you leverage, it means you take maximum benefit or advantage of a situation or something. It could be a company leveraging its resources, right? So this is the most common jargon used in corporate world. Well, the next one is phone tag. Now phone tag, obviously the word phone has um, got to do with telephone. Now a phone tag is so when two people are trying to contact each other over the telephone okay and they always happen to miss each other's call so supposing i call a client of mine and uh, he's not at his desk i leave a voicemail and when he calls me back i'm not at my desk and then he leaves a voicemail and very often this exchange happens where we are just unable to get in touch with each other over the phone so it's a very common situation okay and that is the time i'm going to say finally when i get him on the phone i'm going to tell him we've been playing phone tag since morning okay so playing phone tag means that we've been trying to get in touch with each other okay but the situation just does not permit to Okay, 
fine. So, phone tag is a situation where two people try to reach out to each other with the phone, but both are busy and they always happen to miss each other's call, fine. The next one is piggyback. Now, the word piggyback actually means to carry someone on your back shoulders, okay, like you have, uh, you know, a father carrying his little girl on the back and playing, so you piggyback. But well, when you use it in your corporate life, that means you actually steal someone's idea without giving no credit to the person. Now, supposing I overhear a colleague uh, talking about a nice marketing plan and uh, you know it's his idea okay it's his great mind and i kind of uh, feel i should steal it and propose the same thing in the meeting so i piggyback on his idea and make a similar proposal so i get the credit so people are going to be really impressed by what i said or suggested as a marketing plan but if you go to see it is not originally my idea I have stolen it from a colleague all right so that means I piggybacked on his idea and proposed the same in the meeting so well friends a very wrong thing to do don't piggyback okay because it's it's rude it's mean to steal people's ideas and thoughts and take the credit for it all right because it's really not your idea so let people have theirs so that is what piggyback means okay so Imagine in the meeting when I propose the same, he's going to know she piggybacked this from me and probably Rachna just overheard me saying it. So well, don't piggyback, okay? Well, the next one is per se. Now per se means in itself or by itself. Okay, now uh, we usually use this expression per se when we talk about a particular thing in its own or on its own. Now supposing a colleague of mine sang at a Christmas party and uh, well, it didn't go too well. So I tell her, the song per se was nice, but your voice was pathetic. I won't say pathetic, but your voice wasn't up to the mark okay when i say the song per se was nice i mean to say the song by itself was fabulous her choice of song was fantastic in itself the song was brilliant but her voice was not that great probably it was cracking or she had a real bad cold so i'm going to say per se okay so um well sometimes um, i do tell a friend of mine the dress that you are going to wear is beautiful so the dress per se is lovely but the way you carry it matters that means the dress by itself is a very beautiful piece but the way you carry it at the party is something that is completely up to you so you use per se okay or sometimes we have a full uh, you know foolproof plan so I'll say well the plan per se is foolproof but how the team executes it is a different story altogether that means the plan by itself is excellent okay but how they execute it is a different story altogether so when you talk about something that is small a single element from a bigger thing or when you want to talk about a thing or anything particular on its own by itself or in itself you use the expression per se okay oh and the last one seamless now seamless means without any seams okay it means smooth or it means without any interruptions without any gaps okay
Okay. Now, what is a seam? A seam is when, for example, I have a fabric and another fabric and then there are stitches in between, right? So, you can see it. There's a seam. So, seamless is exactly opposite. It's smooth. You can't make out. If there is a problem, you just can't make out. Now, for example, uh, my boss gives me a very difficult and a challenging task to do and I do it beautifully okay of course I did have my issues I did face uh, you know um, it was very daunting and uh, it was challenging but the outcome was fabulous so he's going to compliment me and say by saying you did a seamless job you know that means it was so beautifully done so smooth and so well done without any difficulty without any interruptions maybe without bothering him right so he'll say Rachna you did a seamless job now for example um, you know there is this actress who's giving a really challenging shot in front of the camera and uh, she hopes that she does it in one go and she actually does the director is going to praise her and say wow that's a seamless shot you gave okay so that means it was beautiful you brought out the emotions without any difficulty without any interruptions maybe without any retakes okay so that is the way we use seamless when something is performed smoothly without you know any difficulty or interruptions we use the word seamless all right friends well these are the 10 corporate jargons for today i hope you enjoyed learning them i'm sure you're going to use them now i'll be back soon with a new lesson till then take care and